Good day everyone, my name is Jeremy Rodriguez. I am a producer in Trinidad and Tobago as well as a singer. And this is my 10 answers to Super's 10 questions. Okay, I chose music because since I was about 3, I used to watch Marshall Montano and the other big soca artists perform on the stage and I was always inspired and I was like, I want to be just like that one day. So when I gave my mom the idea, she decided, well, you know what, she gonna help me out throughout my whole career to chase my dreams and follow my passion behind music because she saw it. The most frustrating part behind producing is listening for the little bad frequencies that might be buzzing or wouldn't be pleasant to the average listener. So it's right to you just have to be playing it back to back to back to make sure that you get perfect. Well, <laughs> obviously I must say the lifestyle rhythm because it's the one that changed my life. But in terms of outside projects, that mines right now I would say um a rhythm produced by hmm, I forget what is the name yeah. uh, who sing watch them the, the, watch them is it yeah ding dong yeah the aircraft rhythm okay. right so but well, who produced it that's what give me you look at it too yeah. it's chimney records chimney, chimney records right right outside of my productions my favorite rhythm right now that I'm listening is the aircraft rhythm by Chimney Records in Jamaica. The last time I cried was a good while ago because long time I really used to be crying plenty, 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 plenty. For whatever reason, I don't know. But I tell myself that I wouldn't be crying for nonsense again. Like, it don't make no sense. Crying doesn't fix anything. I can't really say one specifically because it's really the ones who, could, who actually have the golden voice, I should say. Who, as they hear, it, as they hear them sing, it's not much you have to do again. And it have a good few of them who is like that. <laughs> yeah, they must say that. I can't. <laughs> I can't say that. I don't think I could, I could answer that question. I don't want a bad blood with anybody in the music industry. My biggest aspirations is to just be a household name in terms of music in general and leave a legacy when, God forbid, it's my time. Where when people look back, they could be like, yeah, Jeremy Rodriguez was one of the main people who was I found in my mind in music, especially in Trinidad or maybe even global because I do plan on not only doing production for local artists. Okay, words of advice that I would give to young producers are uh, like what you like and don't change for anybody even if something is trending right now. Just make sure that at the end of the day you've been happy with what you're doing and that you comfortable with whatever you produce. Nobody else hearing what you could hear. So once you could execute it how you hearing it, then you're good to go. One thing that I love about my job, the mo a good few things matter for, because I can't say one, one thing. A good few things is that I could work whenever I do decide to work and I get to meet most of these big people who I used to actually be looking up to in a way, like, you know, saying, hey, I want to meet this person one day, I want to meet that person one day. You know, being good with everybody and just doing what I love. 